The development of Super 8 and low-cost videotape is making it possible now for people like you and me to make films and programs about things that concern us. Hello and welcome to Community Focus, the program that highlights all of the issues that matter to you and to your community. Houston's film industry is growing, or should I say the community of filmmakers is growing. And here to tell us more about that is Michelle Mower with the Southwest Alternate Media Project. Michelle, thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. So let's give our viewers a kind of a landscape overview of what Houston's film industry actually is. Well, we have a wonderful uh, community of extremely talented storytellers, writers, directors, camera people, crew, actors. You know, it's, it's a huge, we're the fourth largest city in, in North America, so we are going to be, you know, we're going to have plenty of creative talent here. The problem is, is that our community is very fractured. You know, we have a lot of people out there doing a lot of interesting things, but but not everyone knows about each other, or what they're doing, or who's who's uh, working on what project, that kind of thing. So there's, there's some disconnect that I think within the community, but but uh, but ultimately, we have, I feel like, a very strong and, and growing community. And I'm really, really excited about that. Being part of that community has been, over the last 10 years, has been wonderful to see how much it's grown. And so the Southwest Alternate Media Project, which uh -huh. stands for SWAMP, or the acronym is SWAMP, right. what role does that play into connecting all of these community members? Well, SWAMP is a 38-year-old nonprofit media arts organization based here in Houston. We've, we've uh, been working with independent filmmakers for is it, 38 years now, a <laughs> very long time. And uh, we do that in a, in a variety of ways. Uh, ultimately, we're, we're a resource. You know, we, we provide information, we provide education, we do, uh, you know, workshops, professional development workshops, uh, you know, film lectures, we do uh, conferences, as we'll talk about in just a moment, and, uh, you know, youth programs, we do uh, summer camps for teens, we do, uh, in the past, we've done after school programs for kids, something that we're hoping to, to begin doing again here uh, in the near future. So uh, so we've, we've been a very, a vital part of the uh, early democratization of media in Houston back before you know before the internet and before you know digital technology took over swamp was the place to go to learn how to make films and to learn how to tell your stories through the medium of filmmaking and we're still doing that we're just doing it in a very different way now and uh, primarily through education and and through uh, you know providing the community a place to go to meet other filmmakers and to network and collaborate. So, uh, and then of, of course providing services t uh, through grant funding and, and, and that type of thing. So, so uh, we've, we've, uh, we've grown with the community, I'd say. <laughs> okay, quiet on the set, this is a take. Swamp has been a great support to me personally as a filmmaker for a really long time. I've had short films play on the territory and that is huge as a filmmaker, especially a shorts filmmaker, where there aren't a lot of outlets and distribution models for short films. As a professor at UT, I constantly hammer my kids about submitting to the territory and getting outlets for their short films. For me personally, it's just been a great support system. I didn't really start getting into making my own films probably until I was about 11 years old. I remember the first thing I think I ever saw on the territory, that was my first introduction to Swamp. There was definitely something, even if it was, it, it was probably sifting in my subconscious with what I had seen on the territory that absolutely informed um, what I was doing later on, for sure. It was the, probably my first introduction to experimental film. You know, the big moment for me was, I think, in 89, that, that grant cycle I applied for Slacker on, and I got about $2,600 to help me, and it was pretty crucial in finishing that film. And I'm not being hyperbolic. I really, you know, Swamp was a key element in my own evolution as a film lover, as a film director, as a, you know, I think it was just that little beacon of hope. I mean, when I got that grant in 89, that was the first time uh, I had had any affirmation you know, as a filmmaker, I'd been making films for years, shorts, I'd made a Super 8 feature, but, you know, working pretty much alone, it was the first time anyone had said, yeah, keep, keep going, here's $2,600, we, we think what you're doing is, could be good. 
types of skills can um, aspiring filmmakers or actors or producers learn through the workshops that are provided through SWAMP? Everything from screenwriting to uh, directing, uh, we, we typically don't do acting classes because there's so many wonderful acting schools in Houston that, that provide that service. But, but really we focus on the, cre most of the time, focus on the creative side of, of making films. You know, if you, if you are interested in, in cinematography, then we have workshops for that. If you're interested in, in uh, you, know, you know, camera, you know, camera operation, you know, whatever it is that you're interested in, Swamp, you know, has always provided programs to, to teach you, you know, ways of, of, you know, learning those tools and using them in an artistic way. Um, but uh, in the last, you know, several years, uh, we have we have also focused largely on on building um, building community, you know, p community efforts to try to keep, uh, you know, keep media. Media is such a huge part of our culture now. So so training our our you know constituents how to use that tool responsibly artistically uh so that when they're out there making their youtube video you know it's you know they're able to effectively get communicate and tell their stories and so we uh you know and then of course you know the business side which is always you know any industry you have to understand the business side of it so whether you're an artist or a you know professional you still need to have some degree of understanding of how the business works Michelle, you mentioned that there's lots of acting schools here and Swamp is, you know, connecting filmmakers with these resources. Are we seeing a lot of that talent staying here in Houston or are they leaving and making other cities grow like perhaps <laughs> L.A. or New York? Because we want them to stay in Houston, right? Well, absolutely. That's the that's the hope. Uh, you know, being a filmmaker who's who's, uh, you know, stayed in Houston, you know, I, I have to say that it's, you know, I feel like this, the city has been very good to me and, and I find it a wonderful place to make films and to, you know, to be able to, to grow as a filmmaker. Uh, but, you know, a lot of other filmmakers have felt the need to, to leave and move to other places where they feel like there's a, a stronger uh, film industry uh, or maybe even a, a stronger film community or culture that they can grow in and, and that's fine but but ultimately we want to build a film culture here in Houston that nur nurtures uh, independent filmmakers gives them an opportunity to 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 tell their stories to have an audience who can you know who can give them feedback on their on their movies and give them a chance to to really develop you know before they you know, especially in those early stages of their of their of their growth as a filmmaker, so that once they are ready to make that feature film and take it out into the the larger industry, they're they're ready. They have all the tools they need, all the knowledge that they need. The the all they need is just to to make their movie and get their story told. <laughs> I love making this, you know, uh, and it's my passion and it's uh, what I love to do, but it's also, I think, uh, a way of living, not only a hobby, you know. And sometimes it's really hard to get support from other people to, to do this, because you need a lot of things, you know, to accomplish what you want to do. And what uh, Swamp did was just great. I mean, the fellowship program, it's amazing. And it's amazing to, to get to know people from another culture and another um, way of thinking. An organization like SWAMP is important on, on so many levels. It acts as a, a catalyst for the creation of new work as we've seen in terms of the Emerging Filmmakers Fellowship uh, Program. It, it also acts as, as a resource center for people to come in to be able to use material, the educational aspect of it, the community links. I, I think all that can serve as a way to be able to att allow people who w otherwise would not have access to be able to tell their stories. Swamp has nurtured the career, early careers of a lot of major and important filmmakers and that role hasn't diminished, that still the opportunity is there that SWAMP provides for that next generation of storytellers, the next generation of film and videographers to learn and to have that opportunity to be encouraged, nurtured, provided resources in order for them to go out and make those early productions that will allow them to take the next step and then the next step. What contributions has Houston made to the larger film industry and how does Houston compare to, let's say, 
LA, Hollywood? <laughs> well, I, you know, I feel like they're, it's kind of apples and oranges in some ways because LA, LA has, you know, a, a, you know, a pretty, I mean, it, the industry is, there's a huge industry there and it's everywhere. We w drive down the street. You can't not know that there's a <laughs> film industry in, in LA. It's everywhere, you know, not so much here in Houston. So we're not com entrenched in a film culture here like they are in LA or New York even, or even Austin on some level. So I think that uh, what Houston could really benefit from is, is to, is to, you know, some way build our film culture from within. And that's the only way that's really going to happen at this point is through supporting our local independent filmmakers. And that's what Swamp has, has been doing for 38 years. Tell us about this conference that's coming up September 18th, I believe. Uh, September, September the 18th and 19th, that's correct. Um, it's a, a two-day film conference called The Business of Film. This is our 11th year to hold this conference. It takes place at Rice University at the, at the Media Center. And uh, we have a wonderful uh, slate of speakers coming in, uh, you know, writers, producers, directors, uh, some from right here in Houston as well. So some of our, uh, our keynote speakers, Louis Black, who is uh, the founder, uh, one of the co-founders of the Austin Chronicle and South by Southwest. And he's uh, going to be doing our a keynote speech on building a film culture, which is something he helped, you know, was a very big part of doing in, in Austin. And, uh, and uh, he's been, you know, very supportive of Swamp over the years, and uh, and of course of Houston filmmakers as well. And so uh, he's going to be doing the keynote address. And then uh, we have Mark Richard, who's a, a writer, producer, television writer, producer. He is um, most notably on on Hell on Wheels, and currently is on Tyrant, the TV show Tyrant. Uh, he'll be in uh, talking about his development as a writer as well as his work uh, in television production, which will be very interesting. Uh, we have music supervisors. We have, um, you know, locally we have some filmmakers who'll be speaking, including Baldemar Rodriguez, who uh, I actually went to college with Bal Baldemar, and uh, he uh, he made a film a few years ago and, called uh, In Search of the American Dream, and uh, it was you know, interesting to watch the evolution of that of that project and ultimately was able to get it out into the world, which is what we hope all local filmmakers are able to eventually do. And he did. And then this last year he was nominated for the Imogen Award, which is a, you know, a, as you know, an award that is uh, given out to Latino uh, filmmakers and film professionals. And he was nominated for uh, Best Director for that film and uh, he did not win, but he was nominated and I think it's amazing that a local filmmaker, uh, Latino filmmaker in Houston was given that recognition and and that, through that nomination. So so we're really proud of Baldemar and uh, he'll be speaking and talking about his work here in Houston and another filmmaker who's staying here in Houston and trying to b build their you know careers here and that's that's wonderful. That's what we're hoping to to do with this conference is give give those filmmakers the resources they need to to produce films professionally, but ultimately to get them out into the world to get that larger recognition in the in the mainstream you know and in the independent in, uh, film industries. I always use myself as an, a perfect example of that. Back in 2010, I um, I was in pre-production on my very first movie called The Preacher's Daughter, which we were uh, we were going to be shooting here in Houston. And I was working for Swamp at the time, and, and I met a woman that we brought in for the conference named Orly Ravid. And Orly was uh, so knowledgeable and had so many connections, and I just right away, you know, had a, had a, a really strong respect for her. And I told her I was in pre-production, pre and she was very supportive and said, well, you know, when you're finished with the film, I'd love to see it. So I finished the film, and she was one of the first people that I sent the movie to, <laughs> uh, not knowing if she'd even remember making that offer, but she she did, and and to her words, she she watched the film, and uh, I met with her when I was out in L.A. You know, I wanted to get feedback on the movie, and and uh, just to see where she thought, you know, uh, maybe what distributor I should be targeting, or what film festivals I should be submitting to, that type of thing, and uh, and she said, you know, I really think this would be ideal for television, and. I hadn't even considered television. It was like a, it just even seemed like a possibility. And uh, and so she put me in touch with a sales agency there in LA. They watched my film and within a few months I had sold my first movie to Lifetime. And it aired on Lifetime Movie Network in August of 2012. 
it was the highest rated movie on that network for the entire year. And it launched a franchise of, I'm now in my third Preacher movie. I'm, we did Preacher's Mistress here in Houston in 2013. And I just, uh, we're in post-production on uh, The Preacher's Sin, which will be airing uh, October and November of this year. So that's the kind of thing that can happen here in Houston at this, you know, at this conference. You know, you go to this conference, you meet people who really can have an impact on your career and on your life. I mean, my life is, hasn't been the same since I, you know, since it's been an incredible journey. And, and I owe that largely to Orly, who I met at this conference. So, you know, there's all kinds of stories like that, that, you know, I could tell. And, and that's what we're hoping to continue to see continue happen. And, uh, and, and so I definitely encourage anyone who has any interest at all, whether you're a student or just a novice or just curious, to come out and just see what it's all about. And who knows, you know, you could make a movie and your movie could be on Lifetime next year. You don't know. Somebody has to help people understand the realities of the business. And Swamp is doing that. They give people faith. They help them persevere. They give them information. They give them track record. They give them all sorts of things they would never get on their own. They give them a community of resources. I don't think the mission statement for Swamp has ever changed. It's always been there and it will always be there that because there will always be a new generation to be encouraged, to be nurtured and to be educated and brought forth. And I think it's important that we continue to support Swamp and make sure that they're here in order for that to take place. Please share with them how they can participate in the conference, conference date and location. Well, they can participate by uh, going to our website, www.swamp.org. Uh, all the information is there, including our, our business of film panel schedule uh, and the, the, all the speakers and their bios, that type of thing. They can register right there online as well. And, you know, they can call us, you know, on, you know call us directly and, um, you know, talk to us about it. We're happy to answer whatever questions they may have. But, you know, but ultimately it's, it's you know, it's just, showing up, you know, you know, 90% of success is just showing up, right? Isn't that the quote? So show up, see what it's about and learn something. And if you, if that's, if you feel like it's something that you're wanting to pursue, then, you know, we have avenues for that as well, but it's, it's ultimately about showing up and being a part of something and participating and, and learning the tools that you need to be able to succeed in that industry. Michelle, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Community Focus, and we've been speaking with Michelle Mower of Swamp, the Southwest Alternate Media Project, and their Business of Film Conference, which is coming to Houston September 18th and 19th. More information will be shared at the end of our show. We thank you for watching Community Focus, and we will see you on our next episode.